Good morning, y'all. Hey, it's me. I'm a little ashy right now, but it's okay. I just got out the shower and we get ready to do some skincare. My Esty Bestie will be proud. Um, and shout out to Maya because she always gives me the good stuff. This is the moisturizer I'm using today. I'm about to throw some clothes on and head to the store because we are doing a girl's night in. And we are doing like a charcuterie board and just making some little stuff to just snack on and finger, you know, like little finger food or whatever. So, yeah, um, skincare. And then I'll see y'all in a minute. I won't be as ashy. And I'm holding the phone like somebody, auntie. I mean, I am somebody, auntie, but you know, I be all those good going on that too. <laughs> see y'all in a minute, though. So I'm actually already at Devin's house. Sorry, I forgot to get the grocery store trip, but it's all good. Sierra's here. Why are you so close? <laughs> <laughs> Devin says hi. We waiting on Maya. She got stuck. Dag on STL potholes and streets and stuff. Busted her tires, so. I wait no money, but we gonna make some dip, and we already made our shakuti, 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 what? Charcuterie. 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 Are you sure? It's either shakuti or shakuti. You show? <laughs> Is you show? <laughs> Shakuter. That's what we making. See you in a minute. Maya, she made it. My baby, come here. Come here. All right, y'all. Who put it on? Look at our shakuchi. Shakuterie slash. It's cute. I mean, we could. We gonna put some grapes on it next time. And we don't have any crackers. We actually gonna make. What are those things called? Like the them. French baguette chip yeah. chips. Yeah. We gonna make some of that with some bread and put it in the oven. We'll get back to you guys in just a second. Okay, so we making a salmon, and this is actually the way I make my salmon. Mine is the seasoning when I make my salmon croquet. Me too. So uh, you I just sprinkle it with like a cap full of olive oil, maybe a cap full and a half, just a little bit. Maybe like cap full and a half olive oil. Put the olive oil on the end on the salmon real quick, and then we just gonna. I'm gonna actually pour this in my hand. Show them what you got. This is the pink Himalayan salt. And it got some sand in it. What's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably, I'm not even going to use all that. that. I'm going to just take a sprinkle and just kind of. Do it like this. Stop it. <laughs> you can't control where it goes when you do that, though. Gordon Ramsay would be saying that's not even me salted. Sprinkle. <laughs> what are y'all right. doing? Oh, girl. Oh, A little bit of pepper. <laughs> we were just using some um. A little bit of pepper. Pepper. We don't want to put it all in one spot. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Put it all the way around. Keep it there. I'm first scooping the onion powder. Onion powder. Okay, cause yeah, onion powder and garlic powder, Mary can have my bay, oh bay. What's up, oh bay? Oh bay, oh bay, she's oh bay right there. That's oh bay right there. <laughs> <laughs> I just sprinkle it a lot, oh bay. I actually kind of stab my salmon just a little bit, so then when them juices what come the up, salmon do to you. So then when them juice, you know when them juices come up, they, they it soaks in the. Oh, that flavor, that seasoning. Pop a little holes in it. That's all she needs. This is so cute. It's cute for sure. Oh, thank you. Don't fall, Jim. And we'll be back. Okay, so we put the salmon in the oven on um, 375 for 10 minutes. And y'all, that look good. 
gonna go ahead and shred this up, throw this stuff in a bowl, and then we'll show you um, what we do after that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to just spoon this salmon off the skin into the bowl. And because it's real tender, we're gonna cook it for 10 minutes to come right off. Okay, so when you're done, it should look a little bit like that. Still some nice chunks, but not too shredded, just a little bit. Okay, so after you shred your salmon, go ahead and add your onion, diced onion. We're also going to add the eight ounces of cream cheese. Come on, cream cheese. Oh, yeah. We actually let the cream cheese sit out for a little bit, so it'll be a soft. Hours. Yeah, a couple hours. You can also just pop it in the microwave if you need it to be a little bit softer. But this chopped spinach, we already have unthawed. It was frozen, it was unthawed, and it is dry. You can see it. Just put a good amount of spinach in there since this is spinach salmon. Did my sister just that? I'm just gonna put like a half teaspoon, maybe. You can put a full teaspoon. I think that'll be cool. We got enough salmon in there. At least. Okay. Uh, right, a tablespoon, or is that a teaspoon? It's or a tablespoon? teaspoon. That's a teaspoon. A teaspoon of garlic, shredded parm, shredded parm, a fourth a cup. Maybe like a fourth a cup if we had to measure. It. Like a fourth a cup of cheese inside. I think that's good. Garlic. We added garlic, but you know, garlic powder gives it a different flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's garlic. We got some onion powder. We're gonna sprinkle some onion powder in there. Okay. A little salt and pepper. You know what pepper look like. <laughs> a little bit of pepper, some salt. Y'all know the salt we used earlier. A squirt of mayo. Yep. So you get your mayo in. Go ahead and stir it up. Devin added heavy cream to loosen it. Sprinkle some more parm on it and pop it in the oven at 375. It's gonna be good. Okay, so after about 15 to 20 minutes, we took it out of the oven when it started to brown. And look at that, y'all. That is some creamy salmon spinach dip. Okay, yeah, so I'm cutting these little one inch pieces. She put them on her, putting some olive oil on them. And we're gonna sprinkle some salt, some garlic powder. What else did I say? Some Parmesan, Parmesan cheese and some parsley. That's all. Parsley. Parsley. Y'all ain't gonna do this, okay? <laughs> I'm a little country, it's okay. That's fine, sis. That's fine. I'm a little country, too. Par they don't parsley? Apparently. How you say it? Parsley. Parsley. You're not watching. Um, Snowball. Snowball. A little heavy on the garlic. Fuck it up, Olga. Me too. Give it a little color. Put a little, little parsley on there. Or like some green. Yep. Give it some color. Right the parm will give it that little brown color. Okay, so we pop these bad babies in the oven and we just gonna broil them for a few minutes. You can see it's already starting. So yeah, we gonna close this oven up and we'll show y'all what it look like when we done. Okay, y'all, uh, so we literally didn't even really have them in there for more than five minutes in the broiler and this is the finished product. Be so good. Bruschetta bread. Is it good? Yep. It's good. Yay. Okay. What y'all drinking? We drinking tequila. Tequila. Her tequila gone. My tequila gone. What you want? Wine or tequila? Tequila. Okay, I'm gonna back away because I'm not messing with that. Okay, so we all eating food. Here's my plate, the shikuchi bread and dip. 
we was actually just talking about how do y'all feel about being single until you're married? A lot of older women tell me that. Yeah, but I just I feel like. Agree too. Yeah. Like, I feel like I, if I'm going to marry someone, I want to experience being in a committed relationship with you beforehand. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I don't want to. I'm not going to have the mindset of I'm single until I am actually married. Because I want to know the potential of this man, how he acts in a yeah. committed relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like,. I'm not about to be just out here dating, but I'm also a very much of a relationship one man type of woman. So like, I'm, once we make it clear, we gonna be together. Together, baby. You This is what it is. What options? Because yeah, if I have options, if I'm gonna be single until I'm, until I'm married, why am I getting married? I have options. Like, yeah. But because you no longer want options, like you want just one person. Well, so I'm just gonna pick one and, and marriage. Mm-hmm. You know, I need to know before marriage, like if like, they're even able to be committed to you. Uh, you know, yeah. If you're able to be in a committed relationship, also you're committed to me. If a man, and then we can get married. Okay. Think about it in your perspective, though. Like, if you're a woman. And you out here dating, and let's just say you maybe ain't got your heart broken a couple of times. What's like? Is it bad to keep your options open and make the best man will until one of them like actually steps up and marries you or proposes? But my thing is, we even do. If they I'm step asking. Up, I'm not saying this is what I believe. I'm asking. Before even if they step up, just because they ask you to marry them, don't mean that they're the one person you want to be with. Yeah, I feel right. like you want to know how special that person is and you know that you want to be with them exclusively before they ask you. Because if they just ask you and you're like, oh, okay, he's the first one to say he want to marry me, cool. But just choose you because you chose me. Yeah. I want to know that I want to be exclusive too. to you too. Yeah. I don't want to be playing the field up until the point where you ask me. Because now, like, I don't know what it's like to be exclusive to you. You don't know what it's like to be exclusive to me. Like, I want to know what that's like. We should fall in love with that as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Exclusivity. Well, should. I guess because yeah. mm-hmm. that shit is married at first sight. Or blind. Yeah. yeah. What's it called? Blind is look. Love, love is blind. blind. <laughs> that's what I mean. They say the exclusivity up until it was time to get married. Like, until you propose, I continue to talk to everybody. Like, yeah, you know, you have, like, your number yeah, one person, your number and two, like, or whatever it may be. Like, like, each each situation stay together. Hmm? I don't see that. Like one couple out know. of each season stay together, right. if that. But still, throughout that process, they date multiple people up until somebody engaged. They do. Like, most people still have, like, a leaning towards... Okay, I really like this person more. I vibe with them a little bit more. But there's still this one person who, you know, they cool. We just may not necessarily have, you know, whatever in common. Or there may be something else about them that I don't like. But just like the new season, Jared, he was like stuck between two women. And the other girl feeling like she was like, I guess, the second choice. Definitely because she said <laughs> no to him, and then he yeah. went with the second choice. Yeah. He didn't choose old girl. Right. He didn't. Old girl. He uh, Mallory. Mallory he said like, oh, no. the situation though is like I'm still gonna date both of these women until but you know he, I'm engaged to yeah, one. Yeah, but you know who his first choice was. Right. Have Mallory been like who? That's what he would have been with. That's who he would have been with, for sure. And that's, it's dating. So, they date on the show. Then they get to the point to where they're exclusive. Okay. They're in like a relationship. So, dating until, or a single until you marry, mm-hmm. it's not making too much sense to them because sense. you're Well, y'all tell us what y'all think. Somebody. Yeah. And Should you be single until you engage, marry, or... No, I think it, I don't. I say no. I'm gonna say Just no, my but it's a conversation. Because if if, a, if you're dating, what if you're dating multiple multiple people, and one of those people come to you and they're like, you know what, I wanna, you know, take this to the next level. Not necessarily propose, but like I wanna be exclusive and I wanna be committed in a committed relationship. 
Are you still going to date other people? Right, you gonna say, then, oh, well, saying, would it be like, marry me? He said, what if he expresses like, I want you to be my wife one day. He's not proposing, but he's saying, I want you to be my wife one day. I want to be committed. I want you. I don't want multiple boyfriends. I don't, I don't either. Are you still going to date me? I don't even know how to juggle like Yeah. I don't either. I don't like to juggle. Usually when I like you, I like you. Yeah. <laughs> you right. Right. And somebody else touching me is like, ew, that, don't touch me. <laughs> okay, but I think we probably going to have to save dating for a whole nother video because we be here all night. But thank y'all for joining us. We can ready to enjoy this dip. Watch some sisters. Like I'm crunching really loud. <laughs> <laughs> loud as hell. Just say bye. You hear me? It's good though. The bread is crunchy, y'all. <laughs> it's good. It's so good. Hilarious. Okay, let me get what lady like. <clears throat> Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, y'all. Say bye to Maya, bye, Sierra. Bye, guys. We'll see y'all next two weeks. Bye. Yeah. Bye. You always gotta be extra. <laughs>